we have. We have three, three uh, principal uh, challenges. The first was it's a human challenge because we're going to hire 6,000 uh, people, which is enormous. Uh, the second one is a culinary challenge because we are going to feed uh, 15,000 athletes from 200 nationalities, which is also a big thing, during five weeks. And then we are going to feed also the fans uh, of uh, 14 uh, venue, uh, of competition venue in Paris, but also in Marseille. And then we're going to feed also uh, the hospitality. So you mentioned the athletes are going to have to feed 15,000 of them. How did you adapt and prepare uh, what you're going to feed these guys? I need to be on top form, of course, for Paris 24. Yes, I mean, first of all, it's going to be 45,000 meals a day for the athletes. Inside the village, we're going to have the biggest restaurant uh, in the world. And we are working since now two years about uh, the recipe with nutritionists, but we are also uh, working with uh, the different uh, teams, you know, uh, all the, the, the nutrition of the country teams. And, uh, and then we adapt uh, all the food. Uh, you know, a uh, gymnast uh, is not eating the same thing that... Uh, for example, a judoka. So we have to adapt. So we have to, uh, we have different recipe, 500 recipe. We are doing it with our chef, but also with, uh, we're going to do some recipes with some uh, very uh, famous chef in France because we want that uh, uh, the athletes uh, feel like if they are at home, and also we want them to have a little of uh, the French gastronomy. Nice. Um, and of course, there's a logistical challenge, the multiple sites, the sheer yes. number of meals that you have to serve. But you've given yourself some extra challenges. You want to source 25% of the products within 250 kilometers and 100% French produce for fruit, veg vegetable, meat and dairy. So you like to take on extra challenges. Why did you decide to have these specific targets as well? I think it was in terms of, uh, for Paris 2024, it was very important to have sustainable games. And uh, food is part of the, our commitment about sustainability. We decide that we're going to uh, divide by half the carbon footprint uh, for food which we going to be uh, made uh, for these games. So first of all, the choice of the supply and the raw material was very important. So we're going to have 80% uh, of the uh, raw material coming from France, 25 will come from 200 uh, kilometers around uh, Paris, which is very important. 